But there comes time is when you've got to push yourself outside your comfort zone and do things that are really, really hard and that you don't want to do. Today for me, that is going up Draycott Steep, the steepest and toughest climb in the Mendips. It looks horrible just looking at it from here. <laughs> Shall we do it? Please say no. Oh, and I've dug out the old Oakley Trawbees. Because what else can you do when you haven't got your regular sunglasses? <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll be wearing them much up there though, because I will be sweating. Uh, let's do it. So the funny thing is, this wasn't my original plan today, as you can imagine. I was going to go down and ride the Purbuck Hills. The original weather forecast was for it to be raining this morning and sunny this afternoon. And when I got up this morning and ambled around for a while, I looked at the weather and it was sunny this morning and raining this afternoon. So this is my backup plan. As backup plans go, I've had better. Uh, but as fate would have it, the one person that commented, Craig Foley, who said he'd like to see me go up here. I bumped into him this morning. He was out for a run. And uh, I hope you enjoy this, Craig. I hope you enjoy my suffering. I'm gonna enjoy the cake afterwards because I'm definitely having cake if I'm going up Draycott Steep. That's the rule. But as luck would have it, I found myself a Somerset traffic jam. <laughs> Just delaying the inevitable. So Draycott Steep is 1.93 kilometers long. It's got a vertical ascent of 221 meters and its average gradient is 11.4%. But that doesn't tell the whole story because that last few hundred meters is at 20 to 25% when you're at your worst. And I'm gonna show it you all. All right, so here we go. I'm not sure why, but here we go. Yeah. All right, so we're already at 10%, right at the very off. And I think, well, I've got a couple of gears to go, thankfully. <laughs> it all starts off innocuously, and then it just keeps ramping up. We're at 11% now. Now, now I've done Cheddar Gorge nearly 80 times. This is only the fifth time that I've done this climb. And there's a reason, it's an absolute pig. Two of those were for videos. <laughs> only one in anger. Yeah, 13, 14, 15. Up through the valley. It says ten percent, but it don't feel it. That's my lowest gear. Now I'm in trouble. My legs are still sore after that gravel last week. Now I know you're looking at this thinking, this doesn't look steep, Darren. 12, 13%. Yeah, they say the camera never lies, but, or I've watched my videos back knowing some of the absolute walls I've been up. And this one scares the life out of me. I'm moving at 7k an hour, up a 15% gradient, and we're nowhere near the steep bit yet. Oh, that's just 20, 20%. Oh, we're hovering at 17 and 18 now. Uh, 
you might be able to tell from my breathing it's getting harder I got 11.34, so I'm 34.34 on the cassette, and I know now, barely turning the pedals, I'm not going to make this. It's a beautiful climb though, I've always been suffering, never really looked up, nice little valley. Ah. my lungs I think my lungs are gonna give out before my legs uh, we're at 20% 21 22 And I've still got a kilometre to go. That's mental. Oh, that's killed me. Thanks, Greg. I don't want to uh. about the thirteen dying. Ah, uh, it's only 10. I feel so much easier. Another gliders. Uh, I can't talk. 680 metres to go. I've not reached the wall yet. Ah, oh, I think that's all wrong. There's 370 metres left. I think that was a steep bit back there. It's funny how your, your mind 
messes with you on these climbs. I think I might have done it. I think I might actually have done it. We're heading for 13 minutes currently. The best time is 10.22. That's a sterling effort. Overweight, unfit. Camera equipment on the bike. I think they can see the summit. I think we've done it, boys. I don't think we've only gone and done it. Hundred and eighteen meters to go. About fourteen minutes. I'm going to the big ring, boys. I'm going to the big ring. Fourteen twenty. Oh man. Oh. That's an achievement. Cake. I've earned my cake. <laughs> Drake got steep. Completed it, mate. Woohoo! So I apologise for any uh, horrible noises coming up there. Unfortunately, that's just me. I'm old. Everything squeaks and creaks, and I can't believe I did that, man. It uh, it's a climate message with your head because you do it, and you remember that steep bit. And I was on it thinking, I can't remember there being a 20% bit before the last ramp. And I, I actually thought the last ramp was the 20% bit. Probably because you're so elated normally that that last 500 meters on the segment is generally just 10%. Oh, what a win. You know how you get yourself um, the taste for something? The lady in the cafe said, would you like custard with that? And I went, oh, yes, please. And then she came out and said, we haven't got any custard. Would you like cream? And then gave me a pot of clotted cream. <laughs> but it was still nice. It just wasn't as nice as I was expecting. But there we go. I'm now back in Glastonbury. I've got an audience. Um, some little ducks trying to get to the pond. Um, so I better get this right. Better not duck it up. Um, <laughs> but what a ride that was. Yeah, I managed to get myself up. Drake got steep. I didn't think I would. So I'm chuffed to bits, I did. Um, very different to what I remember it. I think there were a lot more trees last time because I'm sure that steep bit going up through the woods was a lot steeper. But on Sunday the 13th of May, I am doing the Between the Parks Audax from Romsey. It's 100 kilometers. So if you want to come and join me, come and ride with me. Sign yourself up. I think it's only £10 if you're a member of Audax, £13, so not expensive. We're going to have a laugh, 100 kilometres. Me and Mark are there. I think Steve might be there. But the more the merrier. Come and join us and we'll have a laugh on an Audax. But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like for getting up that hill. Um, but yeah, Drake got steep, mate. Completed it. Fat and 53. I can still get up there. <laughs> I'm coughing a good now though. Oh, that was a workout for the lungs. But anyway, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video. Oh, we're going for a ride. So won't you come on?